welcome back. back to the Tangy Bill Show. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tie and Gig Bill. Today, we are going to make best friend lights. If you don't know what that is, it means that when you turn one a different color, boom. 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 Okay. That's what happened. If you've got a buddy in Uruguay and you want to let him know what's up, just hit the light and he goes, I'm online now. I'm green. He goes, okay. Boom. You think you're green? I'm green too. Bills. <laughs> All righty. All righty. So this is primarily going to be a tech build. We're kind of just gonna gloss over the wood part. I got a plank of cherry. We're gonna cut that into a square. Then I got some planks of red oak. We're gonna use some planks of these red oaks as the base. Should be simple, we'll just use miter corners. And then that should be enough to hide the components, the electronics in there. I have some leftover acrylic from our previous build with the uh, LED cube. I suggest you check it out if you haven't. So I'm just gonna take the leftover parts, cut them all square, and then we'll make a simple kind of clear glass frosted glass look with a simple cherry base and then we will work on the electronics. All right guys. Now that Tyler's glued these bad boys up, I'm gonna sand them down a little bit, smooth them out. Fill in, fill in these gaps here. These glass pieces are going to be around the LED that's in the lamp. So just so it reflects a little bit of that light more, we're gonna sand these down, make them a little foggy. Builds. All right guys, now that these are all sanded up, I'm going to hot glue them together and they're gonna serve as the top of the lamp here. Mahoney's came out beautiful. These LED bulbs we have are gonna pop right through like that. Just need to extend them a little longer so you know how we do that. We solder. So we have the WS2812B LED popped in here. Coming through the back, we have the five volt ground and the data. And we have a little clicker here that's going to turn that five volts on and off. 
Then I just drill a few holes through here to squeeze it all in there and glue this up. Let's do it. Okay, so Garrett just finished up putting all the components inside the box, drilling the hole, gluing everything up. Looks good. I'm not gonna do a walk through the code this time, but I will give you a little overview of how everything works. Each one of these lights has a Raspberry Pi Zero in it. And each Raspberry Pi Zero is connected to a single WS2812B LED. The other thing it's connected to is a push button that's attached to five volt power source and a current limiting resistor. That just means the Raspberry Pi Zero is able to determine if someone presses the push button by the change in voltage. That will signal to the code to change the light and change the other light. So how this works is both Raspberry Pi Zeros are running the same program. Because every five seconds, these Raspberry Pis check a web service which has the current light that should be showing. When you change the light on one of them, it hits the web service and tells it to change the light to that color. That's why there's a delay between the two. Now the reason we did it with such a delay is because we didn't one, want to overwhelm the web service and two, you didn't have to do this in a local area network. So if your web server is running, say in Chicago, you could technically use this functionality anywhere in the world, not just in the same local area network. Since we're hosting these Raspberry Pi Zeros within the same net local network though, one of them is hosting the web service that gives back what the current light is and also changes the current light. It's a Ruby on Rails server, it's very easy to set up. I'll link both of those repos in the description. It'll be a great example for you to follow if you wanna do something like this and actually have this work remotely, not just in your own home. Whoa, whoa, I'm back to the Titan Gig Build, build Show, Show. To the Titan Gig Build Show. Guys, these things came out awesome. Uh, this would be a perfect accessory to, to your room as serves as a little bit of lamp. Great gift. This is gonna be great if you wanna keep in contact with someone in quarantine you can't be close to. Mm -hmm. They can have a different light, but they can still see what you're seeing. If you guys think this came out cool, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. We got weekly builds coming. Just like you said, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Builds. builds.